Alright guys, how do you do? This is Rue and today is Sunday, Saturday, Sunday during the weekend. I'm very tired right now, have a headache, but I thought I'd bring you guys this entertaining gameplay. Um, however, there is a topic to it, and the topic is theatre mode, alright? But there's a subtopic to that topic, and that subtopic to the topic is something good about theatre mode, alright? So, let's give you a bit of a backstory, okay? So, Halo is the original theatre mode game. To my knowledge, I think that is the only game other than Call of Duty that has ever had a theatre mode. Correct me if I'm wrong, leave a comment, I don't know though. That's all I'm aware of. Halo, Call of Duty. And Call of Duty didn't even have a theatre mode until Black Ops was released. And that was still kind of glitchy. I can understand that though, considering it was the first time uh, Call of Duty actually had a theatre mode, it obviously had to be a bit glitchy. Anyway, there was a problem with it, and one of those problems was when you had a host migration, or if a uh, some certain somebody dashboarded, theater mode just sort of pretended it never existed. They didn't think the game ever happened. You went back, it wasn't there. It didn't record. However, that has been fixed in Modern Warfare 3. I don't know if it's been fixed. I'm going to make a judgment at this at the end though. So I'm playing this sabotage game here. And about a third of the way through, the host leaves. Alright, host migration comes up. I think, oh god, this is an alright gameplay here. I'm not actually recording with me PVR. Am I still going to get it back? So I play the game out, and there's another host migration. There's two host migrations in one game. Alright? So I'm thinking, oh well, there's no chance of getting this back now. So I play the game through, I'm like, right, let's get this over with. I you know, somebody plants the bomb, I defend it for a little bit and we win. Fair enough. So, I go back into theatre mode and it's actually there. But it's in three bits. It's in three separate parts. So what I think the game does, it actually does record an entire game. But if there's a host migration, it counts as a separate game or a separate video file. Which I think is really, really cool. Uh, not a great, I, you know, not a great, um, what do you call it? Uh, not not a great example with sabotage though because the, uh, obviously the host migration happens about two minutes in, four minutes in, and just before the end of the game. And this gameplay happens to be only five minutes long, so it only actually recorded for about a minute each time. So it doesn't give you a great um, kind of um, overview as to how this works. But if I had a ten minute gameplay and three and a half minutes in there was a host migration, and then again at seven minutes, it split that video up into like seven. Well, three different bits, which would be good. I don't know what I'm going with this. Anyway, I think that's a really good uh, thing to do, thing to implement, because a lot of the time I'm not really recording with my PVR because it just it's a bit of hassle, really. Like, every time I press play, like, I may not get a gameplay worth commentating for about 20 games sometimes. I know the other, the, the other Sabotage game I played, I was on for about three hours before I got that gameplay for you guys. Oh, it was very, very tedious. But um, I had games. I had games which I enjoyed playing, and I thought there was something I could have taught to you guys about it. But it wasn't exactly what I'd like to upload. It wasn't the best. Maybe it was too slow. Maybe it was too quick. Maybe it was just, like, not entertaining enough. Something I'd already done before. You know, it's just things like that, which kind of annoyed me a little bit. But, um... This, you know, I'm not always using me PVR. And a lot of the times, I get host migration. So I think it is a good thing that uh, you can actually do this. Like I was, I, I was tempted to sort of cut the host migration bits out and like cut the bits where I was going back into theatre mode. But I thought, no, 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 no. You don't do that when you're 399. You just show the audience what you're on about. Now I know I haven't really spoken about it, but look, oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, that was another mistake I made. But um, <laughs> yeah, I think I took a screenshot or something. I don't know what happened there. Can you explain what this bar means, guys? I don't know what it means. I got a bit like concerned about this. I was like, what do I do? I just click this card and thought, well, all right, leave and go back to the part again. I have no idea what that was about. Anyway, guys, time to round up the video. What do you think about theater mode? I know I've mentioned this a couple of times in previous commentaries, but this went into a bit more of depth as to good or bad things about it. Do you think this is a good idea to have? Do you think it's an improvement from the last theater mode we had in Call of Duty Black Ops? I don't know. Thoughts up to you guys. 
Um, I've been Rue 3 now. I'm, I'm gonna go and have a coffee and do three dual commentaries, I think. I've got two going up with somebody and another buddy and another one going on in a moment. And I've got a GTA 4 video to make. So, yeah, as I said, hope you enjoyed. I uh, hope you learned something and this video was very entertaining. Anyway, I've been Rue 3 now. I shall see you all later. And I'm signing out. If you enjoyed the video, click like and make sure to click subscribe. Alright, see you in a bit.